Hey, what is up, DCS crew? Uh, so we are back at it again today with a knife review uh, from a company that I have been waiting to do reviews for ever since their first model came out, uh, and that's Civivi. Uh, for the uneducated and obviously for those who do know but don't really know too much about Civivi, um, Civivi is a, a budget knife company that sprang about from uh, We Knife Company. There's a lot of Asian companies that have been coming out over the years with um, their premium lines. And then just to kind of um, uh, provide a budget option without branding it specific to the premium line, what they've been doing is they've been coming out with, uh, I guess, uh, a subgroup of lines. Um, uh, the only one that I think up to date that hasn't really done that yet is Best Tech, but you have, you know, you have Kaiser with their Tangram line. And, um, you know, aside from that, you have We Knife Company that has come out with Civivi. Now, Civivi, unlike, uh, you know, some of the other companies that have come out with their knives, they came out, I mean, guns blazing. They had some fantastic models that came out. And one thing that everybody was uh, kind of, you know, pushing them to go ahead and release was more knives in the sub three and a half or even the sub three inch category. Uh, and then they finally started to release them. Uh, this being one of them. This is the Civivi Elementum. Now, um, there uh, to date, there are at least I want to say one, two, three, four, five, like seven versions of this knife. And I got to tell you. Um, I got my hands on this version. This is the Ebony Wood uh, uh, version. I don't want to give too much away before the uh, the review starts, but um, stay tuned because this is a knife that you guys really need on your radar if it has not uh, hit it yet. A um, lot to talk about, a uh, lot of good, and uh, yeah, just go ahead and stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to run that intro and uh, get the info to you as quickly as possible. Stay tuned. Welcome back. So yeah, um, like I said before, this is the CVV Elementum, the uh, C907 series from uh, Civivi Knives that is a, uh, a subgroup of uh, We Knife. And uh, if you ever have any uh, information that you would like to uh, obtain from the company, if you want to go ahead and sub to their Instagram or even just send them a quick email, um, you can always reach them at their website, which is uh, civivi.com. They have uh, the sales at civivi.com email address. If you have any questions and you can't get me, uh, I'd be more than happy to go ahead and direct you directly to their, their salespeople at Civivi or uh, their Instagram, which is civivi underscore gear. Uh, on Instagram. So, um, like I said before, this is the C907 series. This happens to be the uh, the wood version. So that would be designated a C907D. This is black ebony wood with uh, gray um, stainless steel liners, D2 steel. Uh, this is Chinese, obviously, and the finish is satin. So let me go ahead and put this uh, particular box down and concentrate on the knife because that is what you guys are here for, right? Okay, let me go ahead and try and center it first. So, um, the cool thing about this knife is um, something that Civivi really capitalizes on. We Knife Company, you know, has some really nice designs, but unfortunately for the hardworking uh, individual and maybe the budget-minded individual, you know, a lot of their designs are a bit far-fetched uh, with regards to not just the designs, but, um, you know, the, 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 the dollar amount that some of them cost. I mean, you see, I think many of them starting at the 120, 130, 150, you know, going upwards in the two, three hundreds, and then they have their um, their show exclusives, which have these, I mean, amazing, elaborate, you know, designs and these these one of a kind um, uh, materials, you know, basically a one of one that you'll find at these shows that are available to purchase. But I mean, you know, you're, you're basically and paying uh, custom prices for it. And, you know, uh, like you guys, I'm a hardworking guy, you know, um, it, there's that, there's that saying, um, that, that song that's kind of a spinoff from Snow White. It's I O I O it's off to work. I go. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, I'm not really good at whistling, but you get the point. <laughs> the point is, you know, um, 
I mean, you want a nice knife at, at you know, working man's salary because in all honesty, if the, the knife is cheaper, I feel personally that you're gonna be using uh, your knife a lot more. It's not just gonna go ahead and go into your pocket and feel like it's pocket jewelry. So one thing I really like about this knife, and I really don't talk too, too much about pricing, but I will go ahead and talk about it here, is that these start at about $50 and they go up at, at current, you know, pricing, uh, the max you'll pay is about $90, but there's a reason for that. So um, you're gonna find this currently in uh, a bunch of different styles. You'll find in, in G10, uh, Micarta, uh, Ebony Wood, Rosewood. Um, I know Blade HQ has the, the brass and copper versions and uh, there's a car uh, carbon fiber version. Now, all of them, with the exception of the carbon fiber version, uh, come with a D2 steel, and um, the carbon fiber version comes with a Damascus blade, and that's the reason why I, I said that there's the disparity in pricing between $50 and $90, because with the exception of, of the Damascus one, that's pretty much about $90, the most that you're gonna pay for one of these um, is about $63, $64. And I'm saying that because Blade HQ has the brass and the copper versions, which may even be sold out right now. I was hoping to get my, my hands on one, but I happen to get another brass one, and I'll get to that in a second, um, for about $63, $64. Um, if you happen to get the G10 or the Micarta version, you're gonna pay about $50 to $53. I think it's a little bit more for the Micarta one. Now, this version, um, you can either get this, which is the ebony wood, or the rosewood version for about $63, maybe $64. Some uh, you know, sites have it cheaper. Uh, I, I am getting those prices off of Blade HQ, but you can probably find them a little bit cheaper if available on uh, White Mountain Knives. I know that they have a few 10% discounts you know, from uh, some of the, the YouTubers out there and just, you know, some general codes. So if you have a, a, a you know, uh, an interesting knife that you saw on uh, White Mountain Knives and you're interested in getting it, let me know and I can see if maybe I can pass some savings over your way. Just shoot me a DM uh, over on Instagram. My Instagram is at Daily Carry Solutions or you can feel free to go ahead and email me at dailycarrysolutions at gmail.com and I'd be more than happy to go ahead and help you. So let's get on to uh, the, uh, the the dimensions overall for this knife. So uh, as you can see, it's, it's not too big of a knife. Um, you're looking overall at just under seven inches, which is great for office carry. I consider this more of a gents carry slash office friendly user. Um, and I'll get into that in a little bit, but the blade itself is 2.9 six inches it's right under the three inch uh, category which makes it legal in a lot more states than um, say something that would be three point you know zero one inches and over there are a lot of territory restrictions with regards to blade size so that's something that's really nice plus that makes it extra you know office friendly uh, you're looking at the handle at just over four inches I'm gonna say it's about four point zero three and uh, like I said overall six point nine nine now um the weight on this is under three uh ounces as well uh it, it seems to be that that's the key number you have the blade at 2.96 you have the weight at 2.89 so it's nice and friendly uh in the pocket when you're wearing slacks which is another reason why i feel like this is a really good gentleman or an office carry um the steel in its uh on this particular version as you can see here um is D2, and let me see if I can find where it states it. There it is. There you are, little guy. And um, yeah, D2, I mean, it works surprisingly well with this particular blade. Uh, even the grind itself works extremely well with cutting tasks. This is a hollow ground uh, blade and a satin uh, blade finish as well. The only time you can get something other than the satin uh, blade finish is if obviously you get the Damascus version or you get one of the bead blast versions, which I think goes with the, uh, the brass or the copper uh, Blade HQ exclusive. So once those are out, you're never gonna be able to see that again unless they happen to release another exclusive but up until now and the date of this video they don't have any um now uh, let's see here um the okay okay yeah let's talk about the uh the, the the clip now the pocket clip is a black deep carry clip that they've transferred this is something similar to what they've done with some of the other knives that they have um it works really well but unfortunately it is a uh, a right hand only 
uh, deep carry clip. As you can see, it does not uh, uh, protrude proud of the scale itself. It's actually level uh, just under uh, where the finish of the scale is. So when it is in your pocket, it is gonna go all the way in and you're not gonna be able to see uh, the knife at all with exception of just the pocket clip. And it's gonna be pretty good to go ahead and um, you know, pretty good to go to go ahead and remove out of the pocket. If I have something here, yeah, I think I do. Um, I can go ahead and use this to, so I can show you how deep the pocket actually, the pocket clip actually goes. And as you can see, you can barely see the knife itself. And then when you remove it, obviously you can remove it, present it, and it's good to go. Okay, so um, like I said, it's, it's right hand tip up only. So unfortunately lefties, you're gonna have to learn to be a righty and that's just what it is. <laughs> so um, good things about this knife. Um, one thing I really like about this knife, it, 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 you know, the blade shape and the, um, the blade grind work really well with each other. I think that this is a really nice knife. You can, you can get a nice grip if you have, you know, standard normal hands. Um, you, you know, there's enough grip in the, the handle that you can put pretty much all four fingers on. Um, if you do have a lanyard, you can go ahead and stick one in here, uh, although it's not that big of a hole, so you have to be really um, selective on what you're gonna be using. Uh, this would look really nice with some darkened, uh, I wanna say, uh, treated leather uh, paracord. This would actually look really nice with that. Uh, maybe some darker uh, leather to kind of give it a little bit of contrast between that and the ebony wood. Um, another one it would look good with was probably the rosewood. Um, and one thing I like about this is because of the fact that it is this uh, ebony wood, um, it has that black ish feel until you get like really close and you see those little hints of the dark brown inside and um it works really well slipping in and out of slack pockets even if the clip was uh a, you know a, a difficult to, to put on and off which it, it really isn't uh, and i'm gonna be honest um aside from that you have the um let's see here well Okay, I'm gonna be a little bit biased and I'm gonna go ahead and talk about this right now, being that this is a Civivi knife. One thing that I have always liked about Civivi is their logo. Uh, now, um, call me crazy, but I'm, I'm a bit of a Dragon Ball fan. And uh, one thing that I've always thought that the Civivi lo logo looks like is the Capsule Corp uh, logo from Dragon Ball. Uh, Dragon Ball Z and, and I guess Dragon Ball GT and Super. Um, Capsule Corp is really, it's it's a, a corporation that's owned by Boma or, or operated by Boma, which is Vegeta's uh, wife in the anime. And I'm a big Vegeta fan. So, you know, like it's nice to see that. Plus, I mean, my name is Carlos. So having a C on there, it's like, boom. You know, I, I really support everything that, that has a C on it. I have the Chicago Cubs hat, which is just the C uh, and the little, you know, bear on it. And I have like a Cincinnati Reds hat, which is just the C that's on it. I mean, you know, I really like stuff like that. So um, seeing something like that, it's actually just a little something extra that I really like in myself. So um, now one thing I do want to go ahead and touch up on uh, is on the pocket clip. Now, um, one thing that I, I noticed is that the, the pocket clip itself, while it has flat screws and you can see it there that the screws are nice and flat and they fit flush with the pocket clip so that it doesn't, you know, end up tearing at your um, your jeans or slacks or even hindering it going up all the way to the top. The pocket clip sits proud of the scale itself. It's not, um, it's not flush with the scale. So unfortunately there is, you know, that slight difference. If it was something that was, you know, uh, flush in with the scale, I would say this would probably be a 10 out of 10 when it comes to, uh, you know, um, knives I, that, that I have actually, you know, tried to re review. I mean, the jimping is spot on, you know, the, the, the action is good. I mean, for being a flipper on bearings, I mean, this is really, really good. And one thing that you don't see often and that I see on this one, there is no, I mean, it's a completely sterile blade. There's nothing on here that states where it's from, it's who it's from or whatnot. I mean, you know the fact that because it has this C, it's Civivi and this really, really, really small text that you will find down here states that it's D2. But other than that, there is nothing else on this blade that will indicate, 
you know, any billboarding. And that's something that I really, really like. I mean, in this day and age, you have a lot of companies that are trying to put everything, everything in their mother, you know, the type of steel, where it's from, you know, where it was made, who the designer is, the brand, all of this crap. And at the end of the day, nobody gives a shit about any of that. And you can pardon my French for saying it, but at the end of the day, you know, if you bought it, you probably knew the materials that you got. You know, when you picked it up, you probably knew who the designer was and you definitely know what the brand was. So why the hell would you need all of that stuff as a reminder on your blade? Is it so when you take it out, somebody sees it and they're like, oh my gosh, that's the Civivi, blah, blah, blah. No, they don't care about that. When you take it out, two things are going to happen. Number one, you're just going to use it and nobody's going to care. And and number two, somebody's going to see it. And if they freak out, they're going to be like, oh my God, it's a knife. Not, oh my God, it's a Spyderco Para 3 or oh my God, it's, you know, the, the CJRB Feld bar or the Civivi Elementum, you know, or the Kaiser Sheep. They don't give a shit about that. They're going to care that it's a knife. Or if they're interested in the knife, they're going to ask you, in which case you can just tell them, oh yeah, this one, yeah, it's the Civivi, you know, Elementum. This is the black ebony wood handle version with stainless steel liners and D2 steel. This is the really cool knife. You got to check out the action. I mean, it slips in and out of the pocket. Great, great knife. Now, let's go ahead and compare it to a couple of uh, other different... Uh, folding knives okay so first and foremost we're going to compare it because it's not the biggest of knives we're going to compare it with some not so big knives and we'll start with the kaiser sheepdog and uh yeah i guess if we're going the small route we're going to go something a little bit smaller and this is the best tech tulip uh yeah quite a a, a big uh difference there as far as high, uh you know size is concerned um, let's see here is another kind of smallish knife for office use and I might actually do a video on these and this is the Artisan Cutlery Arkeo. This is a Dylan Mallory design in brass. You see a lot of copper knives. I'm actually a brass guy. So um, it's nice to see that they came out with something like this and a uh, great knife. Very similar in size, but obviously there's some similarity, um, you know, with regards to, you know, deep carry clip, size, scale, all that stuff. But the shape overall, you know, similar but different. Here's another one, and this is the Concept Sprite. This is a relatively new company, and I don't believe this uh, knife is out yet as of the date of this video, but this is one of the knives that Concept Knife sent over to me to review. A little bit bigger than both of these, and then uh, let's get one more out, okay? Uh, yeah, let's do, let's do that. Okay, this is another really good one. This is the CJRB Feldspar. This is the, uh, the small version with JG10 and the uh, copper... Um, uh, pivot collar right there also in d2 steel which is really cool because that means all of these three are satin d2 blades and these were all the budget versions that you're going to see from these knives so uh, that's where the similarity goes uh, with regards to that and um, yeah that's about it so um, final thoughts on this particular knife. Does it cut? Yes, it cuts like a madman. And the cool thing about it is since it's D2 steel, it's a semi stainless steel. So you're not going to have the issues that you find in 1095 where you're constantly trying to prevent corrosion or rust. Uh, and you have to patina it so that you can have some type of resistance. D2, when it's kept in good shape, you keep it oiled and you keep it, you know, uh, clean. You, you know, you clean it after you use it. Um, it's going to do you really well. It's, it's, it's a nice budget steel that really goes the distance. Um, I feel like we and Civivi heat treat their knives very well. Um, the D2 on this is, you know, it, it's as good as you're going to get for this price. In all honesty, you can get a couple of other, you know, mid-tech and, and upper grade uh, companies that use D2 steel. But for production D2, you're probably not going to get something that much better than um, Civivi. Um now, uh, aside from that, you know, when you're using it, one thing I really like about D2 is the fact that, I mean, with what I've used it for, uh, you know, and that's cutting boxes, opening envelopes, you know, uh, cutting rope and, you know, doing little things like that. Um, all I really had to do is, is just strop it. I have a, a four-sided uh, strop bat, you know, with leather and compound. And I mean, after stropping it, you know, the fact that it's hollow ground and uh, the edge has stayed pretty much you know, where it needs to be. I mean, you know, if there has been any movement of that, that edge, if it's rolled, it's come right back and it's nice and hair popping sharp. I mean, it's, 
it's really good. I've only actually stropped it once since I've had it. I've had it in my pocket and used it at the office, you know, for quite some time. And I freaking love this knife. And it sucks that um, it was given to me as part of the Apex Pass Around. Uh, shout out to the Apex group. But um, I, I say it sucks because of the fact that I have to go ahead and box this up and send this to the next reviewer because I really like this knife. So it's probably going to be, you know, very likely that I'm going to pick up one of these. Now, would I pick up the wood version? Um, perhaps I may not, um, I may actually just hold out to see if Blade HQ ends up coming out with more of the, uh, the, the, the copper or brass versions. They are blackened copper and blackened brass. Um, they have a coated blade, um, in, in black. I think with D2, still D2, and they have um, the non-coated blade, but it is bead blasted. So um, if I'm gonna get one, I'm gonna get the, you know, the, the uh, I wanna say the black and brass with uh, the bead blasted D2. And if not, I will probably end up getting just a standard G10, maybe a, a, just a standard black G10 uh, with the uh, satin D2. I really like the satin look on this. And I mean, from using it, you really wouldn't think with the exception of a few streaks that you find uh, on the blade itself, you really wouldn't know that this has been putting in work, which is, you know, it's something, it's something worth uh, talking about. So um, there it is, guys. So uh, at the end of the day, is this something worth picking up? Yes. And I say yes, 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 and yes. <laughs> this is basically a nine and a half out of 10. This is my, uh, this is actually my first Civivi that I've reviewed and it sucks because I've started at a really, really high, um, a quality version of the Civivis. I mean, this is, you know, while it's D2 and it's semi stainless, it's not fully stainless like you would see on like 440C, you know, S30V, CTSX HP, uh, you know, M390, and, and a lot of other, you know, S35VN, and a lot of other steels that you find. But I mean, for the budget, I mean, the budget minded, and in this version for 63 bucks, you're, you're hard pressed to find something, you know, much better than this. I mean, that can cut better with better materials from a company that stands behind their work like Civivi. I don't know, guys. So uh, I'm going to have to just keep it on that. So um, there you have it. That is the uh, the Civivi Elementum. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, just remember that no matter whether you choose the G10, you know, the ebony, the rosewood, the micarta, the carbon fiber, the brass, the copper version, hell, you don't even have to choose this knife. You can choose the Elementum. You can choose, you know, the uh, the Arkeo. You can even choose the little guy. This is the, uh, the Tulip from uh, Best Tech. Um, I mean, no matter what you end up EDCing, remember, if you EDC, think of DCS. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again next time. But in the meantime, check out some of my other videos. Sub to me on Instagram at Daily Carry Solutions and send me a message. Let me know if you have any questions or have anything you'd like to see on the channel. I'd be more than happy to engage with any of my subs. I am on that road to 1,000. I think I'm currently at about 825-ish, 823. And uh, hopefully you will be number 824. And uh, hopefully <laughs> we'll see 1,000 soon. I, I guarantee to you guys when it hits a thousand we're gonna do a uh a giveaway maybe it'll be a knife maybe it'll be a, a, a you know a light maybe it'll be you know a cool little you know piece of swag like this uh you know this this water bottle maybe it'll be a bag i mean maybe it'll be all of the above who knows so um yeah trying a little something different on the channel but in the meantime i did want to go ahead and provide a review on this shout out to civivi shout out, shout out to the apex pass around and shout out to you guys for taking a moment to watch this video be sure to sub and if you have already thank you so much just remember if you edc think of dcs i know i said that earlier but i gotta say that one more time because that's the channel line <laughs> i'll see you guys next time Take care.